Oh boy. SML is definitely in an interesting spot right now. So let's talk about it. All right, everybody. Now, in today's video, we are going to be talking a little bit about SML and the current state of it and why I'm going to make a very bold claim here and say that this is the worst state of SML since the 2020 pandemic, which is still, I would say the pandemic is the worst time to be an SML fan. I think the pandemic was horrendous, like atrocious. And I don't think we'll ever see SML that bad. You know, so, but some people might make the argument that this is worse. Personally, I can't justify it, but I think this is the worst era of SML or the worst time of SML in recent years, okay? Like, this is absolutely the worst time to be an SML fan. And let me explain why, okay? Well, obviously, there are various reasons that should be pretty clear to a lot of people, but I think overall, as a general statement, it is not a good time to be an SML fan or a content creator, that is for sure. Now, the first thing we're going to talk about is the videos, okay? The videos have been atrocious, I'm not going to lie, on, on, a, on a grander spectrum, right? I'm not saying a specific video has been horrible, but I'm saying that generally, because we've had such little good videos recently, uh, this is really bad, okay? Like, like the selection and the, and the video ideas have just not been good, okay? Like, let's look at the most recent ones. Night Swim, they completely... Tossed that out of the garbage like they could have made a great video idea into a good video instead They didn't really do anything with it um, Jeffy Dahmer again had absolutely nothing to do with Jeffy doesn't make any sense Not very interesting if I'm being honest junior the truck driver was okay Cody's big move again was okay But they left out the entire big part about the consequence of the big move. It doesn't really make any sense Okay, Jeffy goes to a Diddy party again that one interesting video i appreciate the effort but you see it basically sml relies on events to make videos good or at least relevant or decent right because other videos like brooklyn guy gets robbed jeffy's happy song hell junior's real name even like these videos were not good like they just were not good and um i know i need to make a monthly review but i'm still waiting until i finish exams to do that because that is a tough video to make so i'll be making it once I'm done exams, which is, or midterms, which is soon, um, and I'll get started on that. But as of right now, man, it is, it is not looking good, right? And, you know, ever since, ever since Jeffy's 20th birthday, honestly, there have been very few good videos. And it's honestly crazy to me. Like, there have been very few good videos. And the only good videos have been, like, stuff like Impractical Jokesters because it's based on something else that already existed and the plot's already there for them. Or, like, Junior's Big Playtime 4 because that's a series you've already established. But, like, everything else is just, like, out the gutter, bro. And it's, like, it's just not... It's just not the same. So, I, I really don't know. Like, I'm still going to continue to watch his videos again in hopes of them uh, making good videos. You know, I, I will always take that risk. But sometimes it's just, like, wow. Like, it's just not great. It's just not great. And then that's why people are leaving the SML community. You know, it's it's rough, right? A lot of people are leaving the SML community. Um, and that's kind of the thing that I wanted to talk about next. But I think the overall picture of the videos, right? We, we saw we saw Quimax. We saw, of course, SML Theory because of the videos simply leave. So I really don't know what to expect here. I mean, obviously, SML is uh, still, you know, pumping videos, still on the, on the rise. But... We need to see a little bit more from them. Hopefully this Halloween season, they drop some bangers, but I'm going to highly doubt that at this point. Now, of course, the next thing to talk about is the SML community in terms of the reviewing community, right? We lost, again, notable names because of how bad the videos were, but we also lost notable names for other reasons, okay? Okay. I'm not really going to go out here and explain everything because I feel like it's redundant, right? I feel like everybody's talked about it so damn many times. But to make the story extremely short, it's the SMR and Ray Ranch who got caught for doing, well, illegal things to say the least, talking to um, underage girls, okay? That is, that is all I'm going to say on the matter. You know, there's plenty of videos about what exactly happened, so I'm not going to go into that. But, again, the long story short is that they did those things and, you know, now they're associated with the SML community. 
And the SML community is really bad trying to get different people um, such as myself to, you know, trying to go out there and fake stuff of me or of other people, you know, to make them quote unquote canceled as well because the SML community is flat out immature sometimes, right? You know, people can't understand that other people have different opinions and because of that, you know, they go out there and hell, honestly, I could be entirely wrong about everything, right? I could, I could be wrong saying that all the videos have been bad lately, but I'm just saying that not only do, did I think the videos have not been great lately, but other reviewers thought the same. So it's not like I'm the only one who thinks that that's why I'm making a video about this. But generally some people would go out there and be like, yo, like, the videos have been really good and like what the fuck are you talking about nick like what's wrong with you um and yeah so <laughs> i mean there's not much i can really do about that but again that's just how it is and again that is that is making the sml community struggle and not to mention for creators there's almost no incentive anymore because hell bro you're gonna get freaking demonetized i literally bro i checked my email yesterday i got mm, actually let, let's pull up the file right now okay let me pull up my email right now and i will tell you i have gotten demonetized by 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17 videos yesterday. 17 videos got demonetized yesterday. Um, and there's nothing I can fucking do about it, right? There's absolutely nothing I can do about it. And it's not because of what I say in the videos. YouTube has never given me any problems on that end, you know? It's never been like, a, oh, copyright, or oh, you said the F word, or oh, like you said inappropriate things, or did inappropriate things. It's never been about that, but it's because it's SML, right? And Logan hired some bot, again, to demonetize creators and take their money. Just to clarify, j just to clarify that we're all on the same page, that bot takes the money from the video. So you don't get monetized, but they do. Right, so they take money from your videos, which I I can't. That is fucked up. That is, that is messed up, bro. Especially because like, bro, like I get it. It's a reaction, whatever. But like, you're like the only one that does this shit, bro. It doesn't make sense. Like, please stop doing it. And again, that's why people are leaving because there's no incentive. What's the point of making content on SML if it's going to get demonetized? That's what a lot of people probably think. And that's why they don't end up doing anything and they leave the SML community. Because I guarantee you, if you get big enough, you will get demonetized by this bot. Hell, even if you're not big enough, they'll probably still demonetize you. Again, it just really depends. If you're a monetizable channel... You are guaranteed in the gutter if you react to SML. That's just how it is. Unless I'm getting brutally fucked. But I've talked to like other people and you know they've they've said the same thing. So yeah, I mean it's uh, it's quite something. You know, I really don't know what to expect at this point. And you know, this is just one little reason as to why you know SML is going downhill, right? It's not it's not great. So anyway, I digress. <sighs> This is why SMLs is not in a good spot. You know, I, th it's never been this bad besides like 2020. And that's even because they had like dog shit characters. Okay. Like I would say the characters are definitely not as bad this time around. There's also no clear cut best character anymore. I think, you know, I feel like everybody has their own opinion, um, which is a good and a bad thing because I feel like Brooklyn guy was supposed to be that guy, but he just, he's just bad now, apparently. Um, so I really don't know. Okay. He's bad, apparently. You know, a lot of people are saying that. I don't think he's bad. I don't think he's, you know, who he once was. I don't think he's amazing anymore. But I wouldn't say he's bad. Anyway, there's no clear-cut best character. There's no real directionality here. Like, there's just nothing really to look forward to or really, like, think about. Um, the Jeffy's birthday saga is over because he's turning 21 next year and everything's done. They're, they very clearly got on their last breath to make that video. Um, because there really isn't much more you can do after you've explained the lore of everything. So there's really not much to take in here. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. There's nothing else for me to talk about. It's just like this is the current state of SML and this is what it is. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, please drop a like, subscribe to us always. Please comment below your thoughts and I'll catch you all in the next one. Peace out, everybody.